How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a bit of a review video. I just bought myself a little bivvy off eBay, a cheap little £30 bivvy. And I was looking at review videos myself, trying to get the details and the ins and the outs. And it didn't answer all the questions for me. So I thought I'd do one myself and show you the things that I want to see. So the little bivvy. I say I got it from £30. It wasn't actually eBay, it was off Amazon. Amazon 30 pound and I've had this out I've looked at it. it looks 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 good I'm pleased so far now I've already took the poles out of this so just to give you an idea of the how small it compacts down so it's about 30 centimeters by about 10 centimeters now I have took the poles And the pegs out of the packaging so you could get this a lot smaller if you really want it you know you can get that really small so we're going to set this up we're going to set up in the garden i'm going to give you a good look around it show you all the seams the zips all that sort of carry on um i will any information like the the width and the length and the height i will put on the screen for you and also, we're going to try it with our current sleep system, the good old foil mat. I just bought myself this OEX um, Transverse IMX, nice compact sleep mat. And for now, we will be using the old sleeping bag. So we'll just get it all in and see what room we've got. So let's get out and get our shelf. Let's time and see how long it takes to put it up. Two seconds shy of four minutes and I could have went faster if I had to have my, my guy ropes already sorted out and it was the first time I actually putting it up properly. Now I'll give you a proper look up close. So of course you'll have these properly set up when you're doing it yourself uh, with the proper knots so you can um, a tight net and loosen it and peg out probably if we get up really quick there obviously and same with the back everyone's just sort of through together quick but so as you can see there's no vent on the back which the more expensive ones seem to have stitching looks good the fabric the material feels good a really loose thread there Bath tub feels good. Nice colour, real good colour, good stealth colour. We have a wee vent here. Yeah, I could put a wee stick or something there just to prise that open. So, let's open up and have a look inside. As soon as you open up, You've got this nice mesh. We ever keeping the bugs out summertime? It's definitely the smallest tent I've ever owned. As we look inside, and you can see seams are all taped. This looks good. All the seams seem to be taped. Looks good. Yep. Now I did hear ones complain about the zips, but zips seem to work right for me. I'll um I'll show you better on the inside. You know you have to remember it's 30 pound tent after all folks like. Now let's do the dignified shuffle in here. So this is the only way you'll have to do it. Like a slug. Just sort of 
worm your way in like a slug. It's hard to do it one handed, but let's give it a go. So even one handed, them zips work fine, even one handed. You know? What's wrong with that? Nope, they seem fine to me. And let's see the mesh. 100%. Now stitching's a wee bit. Not a stitch, the, the stitch in the zip of the, of the mesh is a wee bit out of whack, but it's working fine. Floor seems good. Hopefully it's waterproof. I am touching the bottom, but I have I have oh, about a foot and a half at least above me there, and I could put stuff beside me. Now, obviously, we all know the crack with condensation in these things, so. We'll not know till we get out like, a proper trial how good it is. But at the minute, you know, I've got about like, two phones. Two phones. If we stack these phones above each other, that's where the roof would be. And let me head back down flat. I have about, I would say, a foot there. But when my pill is in, my sleeping bag's in, that'll be a different story. Okay. So, look, I can quite like, eat. Fly in here, and so you are about a foot and a half from me here now. I could have my phone there, watching YouTube or watching whatever. Now, this floor, I just hope that it, it, it's, it looks if it's wet, but it's because I had open when it was raining. So let's hope that is the case. Now. But we're going to do anyway. I'm going to put the sleep system in here. I'm sure it's like the sleep system in the space I've got. And then I'm going to take the sleep system back out again. I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to come back and check it later on tonight because it's a wet, miserable day and I'll get a bit of a test. But I'm happy with it so far, the way it looks. Yep, for a £30 tent, I'm extremely pleased with this. Yeah, I will put the links of whatever ones I can find for you because whenever I got this I took some a lot of searching to get this one for £30 the very from like £70 right down to this one which is cheapest and there's only a couple of these so maybe this isn't here anymore at the time of this video maybe they're all gone but there was a yellow one and that was like £33 to £35 <coughs> sorry about that and um there's other ones around 40. So I'll put the links to those in the description if you want to go and check them out. Right, let's get back out and get our sleep system in. See him again. We have to do the whole slug crawl, army crawl. Right. Okay, sleep system in. Now this could be a bit more interesting trying to slide in this time. Alright folks, so, update, 
we are now in with sleeping pad, sleeping bag, and pillow. Okay, so you can see the room I've got. So as you can see, the feet are touching the bottom, but we have loads of room in front of us there, so we get our bag and all in there, no problem, and our, and our shoes. Anyway, my bag is going to be, I'm trying to get a real ultra light we get set up anyway, so that's what this was for. Now, as for condensation, I think we're starting to get a bit already. Well, that could just be the coldness from outside. We are touching here without my sleeping bag on me. The sleeping bag on me, we're touching hard. So if there is a condensation problem with this tent, we'll be sucking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this out and I'm going to come back and check later on. I'll take the sleep system back out, see if it's waterproof. And then I'll let you know if, it's, if it is waterproof in the elements at least. And then for the condensation test, I will take this out on my next trip along with another tent. And I'll try this and see how it gets on. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to see this in a proper field test. But yeah, let's, let's come back in a, a quick transition and see if it's still waterproof. I said they kept the hose to it, Mother Nature just wasn't doing her job. The rain stopped. So let's go and see how it done, how it performed. Well, the fabric, the material that it's made of is definitely waterproof. Now the question is, did all the, the seams keep the water out? thing is here and I need to make sure that it's <clears throat> no drips come in when we open it because we want a fair test because that would make it look like I was leaking. Let's get the old sleeve on the go. Okay, let's have a look. That was me touching there, but yeah, so you dry. It's probably hard for you to see. Oh no, no, guys, look, I spoke too soon. We have water down here, so it must be, it must be leaking tubby holes there. Yes, there's little holes there. Uh -huh. So there's a, there's a leak at the bottom, but I could see that, I could see him see that. Let's see if anywhere else. <clears throat> so it's just the one at the bottom so far we've seen. Everyone else seems okay. Yeah, so we seem to have a little leak down along here somewhere. So 
but you know what? Now I'll be easy enough fixed. I'm still happy enough. But she is 100% watertight. So if you are getting one, you may have to do a little bit of seam sealing yourself. So it could be down along here. Because I hit the water not breathing hard there as you've seen. So I guess that sort of sort of feel the waterproof test there. It's just a shame too because it was just a wee tiny leak down there on the bottom. Everywhere else is fine. So I need to get some seam seal on and I will just go around everything around here. This whole bottom area till I get where the leak was coming from. And it should be grand for the next adventure, right? Okay folks, I hope you enjoyed that little review. I kept it as honest as possible for you. I showed you everything. So you'll have a good idea now if you're going to buy one of those little tents. What to look for and what you may have to do. You may have to do a bit of seam sealing yourself. Now, we're going to sign off here. But if any other companies want me to review their tents. Um, I'm going to leave my business email. It'll also be in the description of all these videos anyway. Now, companies have been getting in touch. But... It's been smaller things like torches and stuff like that there. If anybody wants to review tents or stuff that's people that would be beneficial for people to actually want to see and get some information on, get in contact with me there. See how I make the product and I will certainly do a review on it for you. But anyway, we'll leave it here now for this one and uh, keep her still.